Hello, this is Mary. I'm back with a video on formation of PDE by eliminating arbitrary functions. Let's see the technique involved. Let u and v be two functions of x, y, z connected by the relation phi of u v equal to 0. Phi is the arbitrary function here. Always remember that z is not the independent variable, z is the dependent variable, x and y are the independent variables. Now we differentiate 1 with respect to x and y. When we differentiate with respect to x, what we get is dou phi by dou u and u involves x, y and z. So we have to apply the chain rule here dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou z into dou z by dou x. Remember that z is the dependent variable plus dou phi by dou v into dou v by dou x plus dou v by dou z into dou z by dou x equal to 0. We get a similar result when we differentiate partially with respect to y. Now what we need is we have to eliminate the arbitrary function which is phi. We don't need dou phi by dou u and dou phi by dou v in these two equations. For that we use the similar technique which is involved in simultaneous equations. To eliminate dou phi by dou u, then what we have to do is we have to multiply second equation with this coefficient and the third equation with this coefficient, which is generally known as the determinant method. So that will amount to finding the determinant of this one. The determinant will give us the equation dou u by dou y into dou v by dou z minus dou v by dou y into dou u by dou z into p. p stands for dou z by dou x plus dou u by dou z into dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou x into dou v by dou z into q where q stands for dou z by dou y which is equal to dou u by dou x into dou v by dou y minus dou u by dou y into dou v by dou x. Now this can be written as p of x, y, z into p plus q of x, y, z into q equal to r. Here p stands for a function which involves x, y, z. For this, we write p of x, y, z and for this term, we write it as q of x, y, z. Just to denote that this is a function of x, y and z. This equation p, p plus q, q equal to r is very important in partial differential equations and they have a specific name which is Lagrange's linear partial differential equations. Let's see a few examples. First question is, form the PDE from phi of x square plus y square plus z square is equal to lx plus my plus nz. The technique involves partially differentiating the above equation with respect to x and with respect to y. When we differentiate this equation with respect to x, we get is phi dash of x square plus y square plus z square into, we have to apply the chain rule here, x square when differentiated we get 2x. Remember that z is also a function of x and y. So what we get here is 2z into dou z by dou x equal to L plus n into dou z by dou x. When we differentiate with respect to y, we get phi dash of x square plus y square plus z square into 2y plus 2z into dou z by dou y equal to m plus n into dou z by dou y. Now what we need is we have to eliminate this phi dash from both these equations. So I am naming the first equation as A, second equation as B. Now it is clear that to eliminate this phi dash, what we have to do is just divide the both equations. Dividing A by B, what we get is, we have to can, we can cancel phi dash from both sides. The remaining will be this ratio, 2x plus 2z, dou z by dou x by 2y plus 2z into dou z by dou y equal to L plus n into dou z by dou x by M plus n into dou z by dou y. It is clear that there is a 2 here in the numerator and the denominator. We can cancel that 2 out. Remaining dou z by dou x can be replaced with p. Dou z by dou y can be replaced with q. What we get is x plus z p by y plus z q equal to l plus n p by m plus n q. Just rearranging this, we will get the following equation. And finally, x into m plus n q is equal to y into l plus n p plus z into l q minus m p is the required partial differential equation without any arbitrary function phi. Let's see another example. Form the PDE from z is equal to phi of x plus i y plus i of x minus i y. i is the usual complex number notation. Now what we have to observe here is that we have two arbitrary functions phi and psi so that we cannot get a PDE of order 1. We have to differentiate twice. Differentiating with respect to x, we have dou z by dou x is equal to phi dash of x plus i y into 1. I have not written that because it's too obvious. Plus i dash of x minus i y. 
differentiate yenga again we get phi double dash of x plus i y plus psi double dash of x minus i y with respect to y we'll get i into phi dash of x plus i y minus i into psi dash of x minus i y dou square is it by dou y square is equal to i square phi double dash of x plus i y plus i square psi double dash of x minus i y i square is equal to minus 1 so we'll get minus of phi double dash of x plus i y plus i double dash of x minus i y now this is equal to dou square is it by dou x square so the pd will be dou square is it by dou y square plus dou square is it by dou x square is equal to 0 Let's see another example. Form the PD from the equation f of x plus y plus z comma x square plus y square minus z square is equal to 0. Now this is a bit complicated. What we first do is we substitute x plus y plus z as u and x square plus y square minus z square as v. So that the equation becomes f of uv equal to 0. Now the technique is same. We partially differentiate with respect to x and with respect to y. We get dou f by dou u into dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou z into dou z by dou x plus dou f by dou v into dou v by dou x plus dou v by dou z into dou z by dou x equal to 0. Now we know that u is equal to x plus y plus z. From there we can find the values of dou u by dou x and dou u by dou z. Similarly we would know what v is from there dou v by dou x and dou v by dou z can be found out. We have dou u by dou x is equal to 1, dou u by dou z is equal to 1. Similarly from here we have dou v by dou x is equal to 2x and dou v by dou z is equal to minus 2z. Substituting in the above equation we have dou f by dou u into 1 plus 1 into p where p is for dou z by dou x plus the second term dou f by dou v into 2x plus minus 2z into p equal to 0. This is the first equation which we name as a. Now differentiating partially with respect to y we have dou f by dou u into dou u by dou y plus dou u by dou z into dou z by dou y plus dou f by dou v into dou v by dou y plus dou v by dou z into dou z by dou y which is equal to 0 dou u equal to x plus y plus z implies dou u by dou y is 1, dou u by dou z is 1. Similarly, from the second equation we get dou v by dou y equal to 2y and dou v by dou z is equal to minus 2z. Substituting in the above equation, we get dou f by dou u into 1 plus q, dou f by dou v into 2y plus minus 2z into q equal to 0. Now this is the second equation which we name as b. a and b are written. Now what we need is we don't want any f in the partial differential equation. We have to eliminate dou f by dou u and dou f by dou v. So dou f by dou u is equal to 1 plus p into I take the this term to the next side. Similarly from b equation we get the this equation. We have to, we've taken the second term to the this right, right hand side. Dividing both the equations we have dou f by dou u and dou f by dou v gets cancelled. Now we have 1 plus p by 1 plus q is equal to x minus z p by y minus z q. That is cross multiplying will give us the following equation. Rearranging we have y plus z into p minus x plus z into q is equal to minus x minus y. Here the format is like this. A function of x y z into p minus another function of x y z into q is equal to another function of x y z which is a Lagrange's linear PDE that is a linear PDE of the form PP plus QQ is equal to R. From illustrations 1 and 3 we have a Lagrange's linear PDE has solutions of the form U is equal to F of V and also of the form F of UV is equal to 0. Now these are a few questions which you can try by yourselves. These are the answers. Thank you for watching. This is Mariel Zubatandani from Maratanisha's College.